You've been diagnosed with lung cancer, but you also smoke cigarettes. You may be wondering, can you do anything in a legal case about your exposures to asbestos? Hi, I'm Joe Williams. I'm an asbestos trial attorney in New York City, and I'd like to talk to you about the synergistic effect between smoking cigarettes and being exposed to asbestos, and how it relates to the cause of lung cancer. Now, we can certainly agree that everyone knows that smoking cigarettes causes lung cancer. I know that, uh, you know that, everyone knows that. What some folks don't know is that being exposed to asbestos also causes lung cancer. And what really most people don't know at all is that the two risk factors have a synergistic effect with each other. So let me explain what I mean. A person who smokes cigarettes has a 10 times greater risk of getting lung cancer. That's a very significant risk for lung cancer. A person who is exposed to asbestos, an industry worker, a trade worker, uh, who worked with asbestos products during the course of their lifetime, has a five times greater risk of getting lung cancer just from that exposure to asbestos. Now, what an epidemiologist or a physician reviewing uh, these exposures when trying to determine cause would do is they'd say, well, there's a 10 times greater risk for smoking. There's a five times greater risk for asbestos. So if we have a patient who's been a, a smoker and who was exposed to asbestos, an epidemiologist or a doctor or a scientist reviewing this matter to determine cause would take the two risk factors, 10 multiplied times five, and they would find that that particular patient had a 50 times greater risk for getting lung cancer. Because you see, it's not, uh, when it's reviewed by doctors and scientists, they don't say what was the cause. They say what were all of the causes of a particular cancer. Because they know that it's not just one thing that causes the cancer, it's the cumulative dose of all of the known carcinogens that that person was exposed to in their life. So it's important to realize that both things contributed to cause the cancer. And certainly in any legal case, that's how we uh, prosecute these cases. We talk about the lung cancer being caused by cigarette smoke and asbestos exposure because they're both concurrent causes of the cancer. And when someone has a 50 times greater risk of getting lung cancer, if you think about what that means, that means they had a 5,000% elevated chance of getting lung cancer. And what I often tell uh, my uh, clients in my practice, those who've been diagnosed with lung cancer, I often tell them, you know, uh, with this, these kind of risk factors, basically, if you lived long enough, you were gonna get lung cancer. You really didn't stand a chance with these kinds of odds against you. Now, I'm sure you have many other questions about the different causes of lung cancer and how they relate to each other, and we can answer your questions. I'm Joe Williams. At my office, we handle cases for asbestos victims every day. It's what we do. I encourage you to call the number on the screen below. That's my office number, and we'll answer your questions. Thank you for watching.